welcome back to a video to be tasting and ranking different types of British snacks. And Tad here is going to explain where we got them. All right, so we went to Italy and we had a long layover in um, London Heathrow International Airport. So we used that time to pick out some different snacks. I was shooping for snacks for you guys. Uh, Faye's going to show a little clip of me shopping right now. It's probably pretty awesome. Here I am walking around the store looking for snacks that... Um, We've never tried before, and actually I don't even know if they're British. We just have never tried any of these snacks, and they probably are since we did get them while we were at the airport in London. So, first up, British biscuits, which what we would call... Crackers. Cookies. Cookies. Oh my Crackers. gosh. Crackers. I don't know. Uh, and also, I don't even know if the British actually would eat something like this or if this is just for tourists. Let's just check them out and see if they're good. Tourists. You, tourists. You said tourists. I said tourists, like us. Oh. Anyway, just pick some snacks out there. Hey, you want some uh, scissors? Oh, those actually look pretty decent. So, just try like maybe one or two. Right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. They're probably similar flavors. You know what this reminds me of? The cookies in a tin in Christmas. Yeah, the Danish cookies in a tin. Grab whichever one looks good. Maybe try one of those dark chocolate ones and then one of the regular ones. Um, okay, go ahead, pick. I'm gonna try this one first. Is that a sandwich? Yeah. Um, it, ha it says a word on it. It says it's bourbon. Ooh. Okay. I gotta rip it Isn't that half. like a drink? That's an alcoholic beverage. I don't know what else it is besides that. Gotta eat it like an Oreo. What's it taste like? This is good though. I know, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know, it tastes like something we had before. It's just like a cracker with like thick type of chocolate inside. Oh, not icing? I mean, yeah, um, not really. Do you know those cookies? They're like soft, they come in like a bag. And they're like oval shaped. <laughs> a name would be helpful. It starts with an M, I think. Miliano? The oh, Mil yes. The Pepper's yes. Farms Miliano cookies? Tastes... Milano cookies? Yeah, it kind of tastes like this. Miliano. No, Milano, yeah. Close enough. Okay. This one? It kind of tastes like a, like a, um, like a Ritz, not Ritz, uh, like a graham cracker. Oh, that's not fun. Yeah, Grim Cacker. Try that rectangular one with the this bumps. One? Yeah, that one looks interesting. What's that other cookie say? Nice? Mm hmm. Or is that nice? This one has like a, co a coconut. Oh, coconut I love coconut. Yeah. Um, this is the worst one. Yeah. All right, overall score. Here we go. I'll give it, it's pretty good. I 1 know. to 10, 1 to 10. I'll give it a 7.3. I was going to give it an 8. Point. Oh. Okay. Seems like pretty good to cookies then. For tourists. I had to carry that around through the airport. <laughs> big old tin in my backpack. Okay, next one is Taverners. Why did we get this one? This has a picture of the British flag on it. It literally says, Great Britain Sweets. Yeah. And it's um, red and black gums. Kind of reminds me of possibly licorice, red and black licorice. Okay. Try a red one first. They're kind of big. I didn't expect them to be so big. They're really sticky. Mm -hmm. Like dots? Dots are better. I know, but are they stick texture wise? Mm, no. I don't think they're as sticky. These oh. are stickier. Stickier than dots? That's what I hate about dots. So sticky. Uh -huh. Strawberry? Like raspberry. Oh, okay. 
It's like you can actually taste the fruit raspberry, not like an artificial raspberry taste. Okay. Well, let's not get them stuck in your braces. <laughs> what is this? Maybe black raspberry. What's the shape? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What does that look like? And then it's a miniature eggplant. Plum. Oh yeah, possibly plum. What's it taste like? Fruity. I don't, I don't know what plum tastes mm, like, but I don't I think, think they're just thing. like sticky, chewy flavored, fruit flavored gummies. Okay, let's give it a score. Mm, it's like five and a half. I think it's like a 6.4. 6. 6.4, okay. The, the raspberry one's not bad. Okay, next one. When I was a kid and someone said British chocolate, this is what I thought of. Cadbury. Now you can get these now in the United States, but to me, this is British chocolate. Have you guys ever had Cadbury? Never even heard of it. Like until like a couple of days ago. <laughs> when we were trying to play a video game. Yeah. And you had to spell it. Oh, oh. Oh, they're solid chocolate? Yeah, it's like a Hershey's. It's like it's Hershey's. melting. And personally, I think it's better than Hershey's because it's more creamy, milk chocolatey. But it's all based on preference. Mm. I think it tastes better, but then like, I don't like how like thick it is. And then you just get like a lot of chocolate at uh -huh. one time. It is. It's thick and creamy. Mm -hmm. How's the flavor? Really creamy. Is it better or worse than Hershey's? I like the flavor of this better, but I don't like the texture as much. Okay. Do you it's agree? Yeah. Most people like this texture better because Hershey's is a little too waxy. Waxy? What? I think so, a little bit. I had Hershey's I've yesterday. Never even, <laughs> I never even thought of like, Hershey's being okay. too waxy. Score. Um, it's chocolate. Right. Yeah. I don't think I could have too many before. I know. Uh, I can only have like one or two. So I'll give it like a 5.7. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's the thing. It, 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 okay, fine. Don't let her influence your score, Janet. 5.7. It's good. No, like, it's in good, general, like, it's good. But you can't decide on how much you can eat. I could. Would you rather have this or Hershey's? Hershey's. Then you better stick with the 5.7. Yeah. Okay. I was going to go, like, 7.6. Okay. That's cool, too. All right, next. What is that? I've always wanted to try these. These are Maltesers. Never had them. They do look like those Whopper balls, though. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, they have like a little peel and sticker back there and you can like hold it down and then tape it down. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. one. So. Okay, there. Wait. No, Wait. no, no, you eat it. Not that you eat it. Um, Is it a Whopper? It's... It's way softer than a Whopper. Really? It's like a soft Whopper. Why is Kate making a weird face? Does it have a weird flavor? I don't know. It's a little weird. Is it good though? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna bring my diet and have one. Just like a half a bite of one. Eat the whole thing. It's way softer than a Whopper. It kind of like it's like a Whopper, but like it's just a softer version with a slightly different. Hmm. The chocolate flavor. is way different. It's got that creamy, delicious chocolate. I like Whoppers better. I like this better than a Whopper. It's <laughs> really? very similar to a Whopper, but I like this a little better. Okay, but it's all based on preference. What would you score it? I you can give not, it an honest score. It's not that bad. I think it's better than the Cadbury okay. chocolate. I'd say like a 6.7. Okay. It's not better. Sorry, it's not better than the Cadbury chocolate. Okay, your score? It's like a, um, um, like a six and a half. 6.5? Yeah. Okay. Okay, next snack is a drink, and it's Iron Brew. When someone says British soda, this is what I think of. I've never heard of this. When I think of British soda, I uh, think of, um... What? Soda. <laughs> what, fire soda? Yeah. <laughs> you have a little bit? 
What do you think it's going to taste like? Orange, Orange Fanta. Fanta? <laughs> Orange Fanta looks more... Do you want more? No. Okay. Orange Fanta looks more orange. Than, yeah, it looks... Like, our Orange Fanta looks more orange than this. But the Fanta over in, like, Europe is, like, yellow. It smells Way like, like, medicine. <laughs> it smells like, like, Tylenol. Tylenol? Like, really? the, like the liquid. Okay. Medicine, would you agree? A little bit, but it kind of smells like... Like a uh, Fanta ish. What? It doesn't taste like much, I swear. It's just like. I don't know what I compare is it to. Is it sweet? It's sweet. I don't know what it is, but it tastes like the dentist, and I do not like it. Dentist? <laughs> yeah. Like. I do not. I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Like I, it tastes fluoride. So, I'm gonna help you guys out and have a little bit off camera. Hand that over. Thay and I are gonna have a little off camera and we're gonna tell you what it tastes like. Smell it and tell me it doesn't smell like Tylenol. Bubble gum. It smells exactly like <gasps> bubble gum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh gum. my god, it's it bubble it's bubble gum. Gum. <laughs> You guys are not good at identifying <laughs> smells. Yeah, if you have bubblegum flavored dentist fluoride, then yeah, it's gonna taste like that. Tastes exactly like bubble gum. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay. bubble gum soda. Thanks Original for... bubble gum soda. Thanks for helping us out. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. It smells like, at first it smells like Tylenol though. No. Yeah. To me, I just get straight bubble gum. Okay, what do you score it? Um, and score this on a soda scale if you were like picking out sodas to drink. Uh, I would not be picking this one. <laughs> it would be pretty low, wouldn't I know. it? It's not that bad. Like I would, I could drink this, you know? Okay. Um, okay, you go first. What's my lowest score? 5.5. This is probably the worst one so far. Okay. It's like a four and a half. 4.5. What, but we're reading this on the soda scale, right? Well, any scale you want. This is, I'll do the soda scale. Okay. Because I feel like it's not fair to rate it with, like... Okay, the other snacks? Yeah. No, I'm just rating it how I like it. Okay. I'll give it just like a five, I guess. Five? 5.0. On the soda scale. You said 4.5, she's about 5.0, it's about the same. Like the worst being like Beverly from Italy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like zero. <laughs> no, she's not doing that, just on how she likes it. Okay, okay. All right, let's do the other Cadbury. It's a Whisper Duo. You do the honor. And it feels, it feels really light. It looks like um, a bounty. No, <laughs> like, a, like a, kinda looks like a Three Musketeer. Like on the inside. No. Three Musketeers are so good. And lighter. <laughs> and lighter on well, the inside. Well, Three Musketeers are lighter, but... Lighter color. But they yeah. might be light like a Three Musketeers, because this feels really light. Because Three Musketeers are light candy bars. What are you doing? Nothing. Something weird just happened. Okay. What's well, in two pieces? Because that's what the duo. It's like very bubbly inside. Porous? Yes. It'll trigger some people's like trypophobia. <laughs> I know. People don't like looking at a bunch of small holes. I know what you mean. Do you? I, it doesn't bother me. What? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the flavor, Janet? And why are you not making a happy face? I don't know. It gives me like a... Okay, I'm gonna try a little piece of the corner of yours. It's good. Oh. It like bit off like... I was not the texture I, I was expecting. It's so soft. Mmm. It's so soft and light on the inside. And it like just melts. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. I like it. Okay. That's if, different. If I had to choose a candy, I would, I could choose this one. Your score. You would choose that candy over like what? No, no, no. I mean like I would. Is it better I than Kit Kat? No. No. <laughs> Don't be crazy. <laughs> Um, is it better than Twix? No. no. Is it better than Hershey's? Probably. Maybe. Mm -mm. Um, I think it's better than the other Cadbury one. Okay. What did I give that one? 5.7. 5 oh, that's kind of low. Uh, I'll give this one a 6.3. Okay. What did I rate my Cadbury? 7.6. Um, I, I think it's better... And actually, I don't think it's better than the tin cookies. 
So it's like a 7.9. Okay. Good scoring. All right, last candy bar. Okay, this is the Nestle Yorkie Duo. Wow. Oh, there's like uh, peanuts. Can't break it off. Oh, I think it says raisins. Is that what it says on the package, Janet? <laughs> raisins. Raisin and biscuit. Okay. So that means raisins and cookie crunch. Oh, like, a, like a Twix, maybe. <laughs> maybe they're small pieces of... Yeah, there's just small pieces of cookies and raisins. Is there raisins? Holy crap. That was bad for my teeth. <laughs> no, really. I need a bottle of water. You need a bottle of water? I need a bottle of water. Grab that drink over there. You got uh, your iron uh, brew. Grab your uh, iron brew. Give me my iron brew. This one? Yeah. Want to refill on your iron brew? There you go. Um, <clears throat> I, I mean, think that's the worst chocolate. Give me a piece. I think the raisins make it really bad. I didn't get a piece of a raisin. The raisins are too, like, tough. Mmm. I see the raisins. I didn't get it. I don't think I got a bite of the raisins. I'm going to take a bite from the raisin. Kind of reminds me of a raisinette. What like is that? Um, Chocolate-covered raisin. Oh. I used to get those. I know. They're good. I think that's the worst of everything. Okay. I think that goes in the middle before it between the two chocolates. Okay, which is good. We have like four chocolates. Three because chocolates. your chocolates are already scored really close together. Oh, you know the Whisper Duo you rated really low, Kate. Well, not, not that one. I'm talking about like the bar. So wait, wait. Okay, the Cadbury Dairy Milk and the and the um. You know the Whisper Duo you rated really high. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, you rated all the chocolates in the sevens. Well, this one is like a 7.8. Mm -hmm. mm. Janet? This, um, uh, what's my lowest chocolate score? Uh, 5.7. 5.7, this is like a 5.5. Okay. Mm. All right, next up is Walker's Legendary Ready Salted, and I think they call them crisps in the UK. Not potato, ch not chips. They're fries, because you know they call their fries chips. Right, right. So these, so these are, are crisps. Fries. Yeah. And I don't know why they're called ready salted. That's I do find that too. <gasps> Look how empty the bag is. <laughs> That's how all of them are. Yeah, this reminds me of Lay's. The Walker's like logo looks like Lay's. It does. They might be related. Who knows. Now, when we had Lay's in Italy, we noticed something about them. And what did we notice? They were lightly salted. They were. Same bag, but very lightly salted. This is tastes exactly like Lay's, but less salty. So more it like smells a... different. It smells like worse. It smells different, but it tastes the same, but less salted. Maybe use a different oil they use. I just got a really salty piece. Oh, okay. It's good. I think it's the best thing so far. So this is like an 8.6. Okay. Mm, I think I like the biscuits better. Okay. What did I give those? 7.3. I give these ones a 7. Okay. All right, this is Walker's What's It's. I guess that's how you pronounce that. You know who did not allow me? To have these at the airport. <laughs> Kate wanted to get another bag of what's this and eat them at the airport. I was like, Kate, if you do that, you'll, you'll ruin the video. You already know what it tastes like. So I made her wait. Sorry, Kate. And now... Well, now I don't want them. <laughs> now you get your, we get your reaction to them. Oh, they're small. Oh, they're tiny. That's what I just said. Oh, wow, they're miniature uh, <laughs> Cheeto Puffs. How do they smell? I didn't smell it. Okay. It's like off-brand cheese. <laughs> <laughs> off-brand cheese. 
Is it, Janet? Like an off-brand cheese? Yeah. It's not but bad. But is it good? I like it. Maybe you keep eating them, you'll get you know, like used to them. Yeah. It's not as cheesy, cheesy as like Cheetos, Cheeto Puffs. I like Cheeto Puffs better. They have like a, a stronger flavor. Bro. Cheeto Chill. Puffs. Cheeto Puffs are really salty. I don't they know are? if you. Yeah, I don't know if you realize that their cheese is really salty. Well, these are so good. <laughs> Your first one was like it's weird, and now you're like they're so good. Is this the best thing you've had though? Is it better than the Walker's potato chips? Crisps. Yes. Okay. So what's your score? What did I rate those? 8.6. Oh, that's pretty high. This is like 9. 9.0? Um, what's my highest score? 7.3, the British Biscuits. Mm, I think this is like a 7.6. Okay. Okay, next, next, all right, we have um, a few of these uh, fruity candies to try out. Next is Frutella, and this is uh, four flavors in one pack. <laughs> I also saw these um, available for sale in Italy, so they might be like a European type of candy, but they're definitely, I've never seen these, definitely not in the United States. Let's these see what flavors you got in there. Look like starbursts. Oh my gosh, okay, I'll rip the pack. Oh, oh yellow. You want yellow? Pour them all out. Let's see the colors. Oh. We got orange, we got yellow, which is lemon. Strawberry, and then I don't know what the purple ones are. It says it on the pack. I'll tell you right now. Purple ones are Great. blackberry. What? Mm -hmm. I want yellow. And they do look like Starburst. Oh, they do. They don't look like Starburst. I mean, they're like the yellow ones, like completely white. Oh my gosh, they're like faded. They're like pastel. They're prettier. It's probably because they have less food coloring in them. Pretty good. How, yeah. How's the texture? Starbursty. Yeah. Harder, softer than Starburst? Harder. Really? Because Starbursts are pretty hard. I mean, it's soft at the beginning, but like this is softer at the beginning than a Starburst, but then when you bite into a Starburst and start biting it, it like, gets really soft. And mm -hmm. I think this day is kind of hard. Okay. Yellow is the best flavor Starburst in this. I didn't even try the other ones. Mm -hmm. Don't know what the others taste like, but this is probably the best one. Okay. This tastes familiar. I feel like it's like a Starburst. No. It has like a fluffy type, type thing. <laughs> fluffy taste? Yeah. And what does fluffy taste like? Marshmallow. Mm. Okay. What's the score? What we got? It's pretty good. Mm. I'm gonna do seven point four. Okay. That's your sec second highest score. Um. I think it's. What's the one seven score I haven't done yet? Seven point seven. Yeah. It's a seven. She's 7. done all the sevens. No. But I knew that's what she meant because she did 7.6, 7.8, and 7.9. Okay. Let's put that wrapper away instead of making airplanes. <laughs> Wait, watch how far this flies. Yeah, it's going to fall straight down and do a nosedive. <gasps> oh, that's really oh. good! <laughs> okay, next one is squashies, bubblegum flavored. Squashies! Okay. I thought these look, from afar, they look like marshmallows. They might be. But from up close, they look like erasers. I've seen, I've seen these on Instagram before. Someone compared a squashy to someone's tan line before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it is it's so squishy. What it's if it squashy. is bubblegum? I don't think it is. It's just because it says bubblegum flavor. That's, it does the white taste different than the pink. I thought it was blue. Are you blind as white? No, the packaging is blue. Oh my gosh, this part blue. of the packaging says pink and blue. That Inside it says pink and white. It's blue! You're blind! <laughs> it looks white to me. It's light blue. Okay. 
Let's give him bubble gum. Can I have one? If he wants one. I swallowed it. I don't know if it's supposed to move on. Oh, it is light that. blue. Okay. Up close, it's light blue. It tastes like a bubble gum, and I feel like I'm not supposed to swallow it. Mm. You are supposed to swallow it, though. It's literally bubble gum that um, eventually becomes disintegrates to nothing. It's like a marshmallow. Mm -hmm. A really chewy marshmallow, though. I like the, the texture. Me too. The texture is pretty good. I don't... If it didn't taste like bubble gum, though, I think if it would taste like something better, it would have been good. I like the texture. <clears throat> I like the flavor, too. What did we have with bubble gum flavor? Iron brew? That was worse. This is better. This is, this is worse than Iron Brew. Also, there's uh, different squashy flavors. Okay, what flavors? Original raspberry in milk flavor. Ew. Rhubarb and custard. I think you might have pronounced that wrong. <laughs> I know. Custard? No, rhubarb? What are you trying to say? Rhubarb. Rhubarb, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sour cherry and... That might be good. Sour cherry. Pepper flavor? Peppermint? It doesn't matter. Okay, what's the score, guys? Let's move this show along. 4.6. Wow! <laughs> that's that low? <laughs> you don't like Holy this? Holy moly. I thought the texture was a lot okay. of fun. Can no. I no. You, 4 you, point. Because you're letting Kate Janet influence your score. 4.6. Wait, what, what's the high next score above that? Above my Iron Brew? 5.5. 5.5. Oh, somewhere in between there. Okay. 5. Okay. I guess this is 7.1. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wasn't the one who rated chocolate at 5. Alright, last one, guys, is Maynard's Bassett's Jelly Babies. And I saw that this company had a lot of different kind of jelly, gummy type of candies, but this is the one I picked. Like flavors? No, like... Like different kinds of gummies? Yeah, different kinds of gummies and stuff. Like, you know how, like, Welsh's has two different kinds or whatever? Uh, yeah, several different but kinds, but it, this also has several different kinds. They're, like, dipped in, like, powder. Oh, no. Powder? I think, like, which one? They're human-shaped. Oh, my gosh. Well, they're babies. Baby. Like a Sour Patch Kid. But this... They're really hard. I think... I think they're filled. I think they're filled. They could oh, be they juice are. inside. They have juice inside? Yeah. Oh, cool. Did you see? Did you get the lemon cake? Or did you get the pineapple? It's weird. How so? It's so Do you hear soft. this? I don't hear anything. Ew! It's like soft with a crunch. Ew, this is the worst one! <laughs> What's so bad? Don't try the red one, try the yellow one. I'm gonna try the black one. It's supposed to be purple, I think. Are you sure? Yeah, look in the package. Okay. Oh, it's supposed to be purple, okay. It's like a crunchy gummy, and it has a bad taste. It's not bad. But it's bad. Ooh, what is that? Yeah, exactly. What's my lowest score? Wow, this is low, dude. That's what I was saying. You have a 5.0 for Iron Brew. Iron Brew actually should be moved up, but okay. Um, this is like a three. <laughs> three? Kate? I don't like the texture at all. Is it worse or better than Iron Brew? And you said worse. Squashies was five. I think it's a little worse. Like a 4.4. Okay. So that was your worst snack of the day. Okay. All right. In third place, let's just share the recap. Was British biscuits. In second mm -hmm. place was the Walker's potato crisps. In the first place, which I haven't tried yet, are the What's It? Yay! Oh, those Watsits are good. Oh, yeah. No, we only have one bag. I could have had one at the airport, oh, too. Yeah. Sorry. 
And I could have pretended like, oh my god, I never tried these before. <laughs> <laughs> that would be disingenuous. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!